staunch Putin critic um, Alexei Navalny has died in a Russian jail while serving his 19-year sentence. Authorities have stated that the 47-year-old has lost consciousness after returning from a walk and medical staff arrived after an ambulance was called but he had died. Meanwhile, his press secretary, however, did not corroborate this sequence of events and uh, has in fact confirmed his death. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the West in particular, the United States of America as well as the European Union have pinned blame on Vladimir Putin for Navalny's death. US President Joe Biden in particular has also stated that Putin is responsible and uh, the President of the European Union has expressed grief and has also slammed the Putin regime and has held Russia responsible for his death. Meanwhile, Russia has in fact hit back. Kremlin has slammed the West's quote-unquote unacceptable comments. Meanwhile, let us in fact listen in to what US President Joe Biden has to say regarding this matter. Turn to Russia, knowing he'd likely be imprisoned or even killed if he continued his work. But he did it anyway because he believed so deeply in his country, in Russia. Reports of his death, if they're true, and I have no reason to believe it or not, Russian authorities are going to tell their own story. But make no mistake, make no mistake, Putin is responsible for Navalny's death. Putin is responsible. He returned to Russia, knowing he'd likely be imprisoned or even killed if he continued his work. But he did it anyway because he believed so deeply in his country, in Russia. Reports of his death, if they're true, and I have no reason to believe it or not, Russian authorities are going to tell their own story. But make no mistake, make no mistake, Putin is responsible for Navalny's death. Putin is responsible. All right, then, of course, we have, we've heard what uh, Joe Biden has stated. Joining us this morning is Mr. Sanjeev Srivastava, international affairs expert. Uh, sir, good morning and thank you for joining us on NewsX. Uh, crucial developments trickling in from Russia. The EU as well as the US have in fact commented. The US has also called for a probe into Navalny's death. Now, do you think this is another turf in the West versus uh, Russia uh, conflict that has emerged? Certainly. Uh, first of all, uh, I would say that... Uh, this is a very, very sad, unfortunate uh, 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 news which has uh, come out from Russia that uh, a very strong voice for uh, 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 democracy, a uh, leader, uh, uh, a mass leader, Alexei Navalny, has uh, died in suspicious uh, circumstances. And uh, this is uh, a very sad news for the entire uh, democratic world. And uh, such kind of uh, developments are unacceptable. You know, uh, I, I, I condemn uh, this kind of uh, uh, development. Whosoever is responsible for the death of uh, uh, Alexei Navalny uh, must be held uh, accountable. And uh, I think international community, the democratic world, must ensure that uh, such leaders of uh, uh, democracies are, are protected anywhere. And uh, this also uh, you know, shows... Uh, 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 that uh, the, there is a rising tendency of authoritarianism. We have seen uh, a lot of uh, leaders of democracies have died in prison in China. And in Russia also, uh, when this Alexei Navalny has died, and many other leaders are also behind bars. I think uh, such trends are not good uh, for the uh, entire uh, democratic world. And I think uh, democracies of the world uh, 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 must, uh, you know, uh, do everything to ensure that the uh, leaders of uh, democracies are protected and, uh, and the values of democracies are protected. So I think uh, this is a threat uh, uh, not only uh, to the leaders, those who are promoting the ideas of democracy, but also the, the entire the values of democracy uh, gets under threat. So I think uh, that's why precisely United States of America's President uh, Joe Biden has gone on to uh, say that uh, uh, President Putin is responsible, but certainly the probe must go on and uh, um, a probe must be done uh, how and in what circumstances uh, Alexei Navalny has died 
and those who are responsible for uh, such uh, uh, crimes must be held accountable. That's what precisely I would say. And uh, and uh, and I think a lot of other leaders of the uh, various democracies of the world they are condemning it, and uh, and uh, this kind of uh, uh, actions are unacceptab uh, unacceptable. Uh, if uh, he has uh, uh, died in such, uh, such circumstances where there is a possibility that he might have been killed, I think the, I think those who are who have done it must be held to account. And I think uh, this uh, kind of uh, development has uh, uh, sent a shock wave around the world. And obviously, a lot of countries are, uh, you know, uh, condemning it. And uh, obviously, they are asking for the probe into this entire issue. But ultimately, you know, Pia, I'd say that uh, such uh, this kind of a very sad and unfortunate news is uh, certainly not good uh, for the values of democracy and uh, the entire, you know, international community. Those who believe in the ideas of democracies, uh, 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 for them, it is totally, totally unacceptable uh, news. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.